then it's gonna deploy our our thingamajig, right? And it's probably fine that the um, it's probably fine that the fuel tank that we're gonna use for this is left on here, along with the little engine that we're gonna use too. The little engine that could. Perfect. So we're just gonna bust this open as like our final thing, as like our final stage, and then bam, we're good to go, right? We'll be good to go. It'll be nice. <clears throat> and then we'll be up there. The rice -Aroni satellite mark one. Okay, good. Well, we'll try it anyway. All right, so coupling. Perfect. We're just orbiting like in Kerbin, right? Do you think we could do this with like one, with like a big thumper? You think we could get this like gigantic, like one thumper? It's probably not enough, right? I feels like I mean we could just do it the same way I did last time with like the uh, the few with the uh, liquid engines, the same thing that we got to the moon with. That would probably be fine, right? Maybe with less fuel. Look at the orbit before launching. I don't think it's gonna be that far away somehow. It'll be a little bit. It'll be a little bit far away, but we can maneuver into it, right? Go to the tracking station and see. Yeah, no, it's not that bad at all. It's like 2.7 million meters away. Stedler Engineering Corps. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We we'll just we'll just use the same the same thing we used to get to the moon, I guess, to lift the rest of this off. Do we want to leave the engine on, or do we want to decouple the whole thing? Fuck it, we'll decouple the whole thing. It'll be more fun like that, right? Let's get another decoupler in here. Okay, perfect. And then we'll blow the thing open at the end, and that'll be that. It'll be stuck up there forever. It'll never come down again. All right, so we have a decoupler here. So that's gonna be to maneuver us into... I don't know if we need that, actually. Well, we might need it. Okay, look, we'll see. All right, so we're just gonna go for this, this bad boy again, right? We could probably do it without the extra fuel. I don't think we need the extra fuel this time. So we'll go for the uh, swivel on this one. But let's take the extra fuel for the side ones. Does that sound reasonable? Wait, do we need the extra fuel? I guess we kinda, no, we don't really need the extra fuel. I don't think we need the extra fuel. We'll use this, we'll use this little guy. We'll use this little guy to get us uh, over there after. It'll be fine. Okay, so let's put, oh wait, whoops. We want to have two. Yeah, you know what? I think this will be fine. Okay. We'll go with this. Perfect. So we're gonna save one fuel tank. This time. Okay, engines, let's get the uh, Reliance on the bottom here. Nice. Let's put these nose cones on here too. Oh man, this looks really cool, doesn't it? So this one's totally unmanned. It'll be really good. Okay, and then let's get the, um, whatchamacallit's in as well, the, the stabilizers for the launch as well. Okay, nice. All right, so we're gonna get this fired here and this fired here as well, all together. We decouple there, then we decouple here, and then we have this, and then we decouple here, and then we bust this open, and that'll be the satellite in space. Add four boosters, batteries. We got a battery. 
There's a battery on the top. There's a battery right here. It's a rechargeable battery that's gonna be solar powered. It's fine, we got everything. Okay, so we have a thermometer, a mystery goo unit, and we have to maintain stability for 10 seconds, and we have to reach the designated geosynchronous orbit around Kerbin within marginal deviation. Okay, that's fine. I think we're good. I think we got everything that we need now. We got the antenna on here as well that we can deploy once it's launched out. Thrusters? Is this rocket hummus powered? Yes! You can paint the rocket a different color. Tell me how to do that and I will do it. I don't see any paint options. Where are the options? Actions? Crew? Switch editor? Nope. Fuel lines. Oh yeah, shit, fuel lines. Yeah, you're right about the fuel lines. Whoops. We need, we need our struts and stuff as well, don't we? Okay. Fuel lines are important, it turns out. And yeah, we want to get these struts on here too. Oh god, that looks great, doesn't it? Um, how do I paint? Right click on the object. Which object? Decouple your asshole, then launch Kelly Clarkson into the sun. <laughs> you need more struts. I need more struts. Okay, it's Hackenstrom. I'll decouple my asshole and launch Kelly Clarkson directly into the sun. That sounds great. Pretty sure painting is a mod. There's no bathroom. Okay, yeah, you're right about that. There is no bathroom. I stand corrected. Paint is really new. Oh, is that part of like the, uh, the the history thing or whatever it's called? Historical launches or whatever you how, whatever you call it, something like that. Okay, we're gonna try to use up like most of our fuel. We don't want to just be like wasting fuel, right? We want to be like somewhat efficient, but we don't need to be like super efficient either. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're all right like this. Okay, the Riceroni Satellite Mark One is 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 a go. It's we're ready for launch. We'll have the um, stability um, through the um, the probe thing. The, the this upgraded probe gives us um, the stability. Um, gives us SAS, right? Okay, are we ready? Let's go. Oh man, look at this thing. That's so cool. Holy shit, that's awesome. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Alright, I'm just gonna do what feels right to me, okay? Like we did last time, and it worked out okay, so... I, like, at a thousand, I'm gonna start... ...maneuvering myself. And maybe this is not the right way to do it, but... You know what? I'm a strong believer in... If it works... It works. It worked last time, so it's gonna it'll work this time too, right? Perfect. Okay. Nice. We're flying. We are flying. We wanna try to be fuel efficient this time. That's why we, we, we opted to not bring one tank. Nice mountains. It's Mount, it's Mount Fuji. I can see it from here, Mom. I can see Mount Fuji from here. Okay, good. Oh, baby. Look at this. We're doing it, boys. We're doing it. We're almost at our destination already. We're lighter this time, right? We're a bit lighter. Oh 
Okay, let's get an orbit. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now we actually now it actually looks like a like a, an ICBM, right? Heading straight to Soviet Russia. That's what we're going. Sips, you fantastic man. Been here for years. Just wanted to thank you for the best series. Game Dev Tycoon. Who else remembers Judy Dench flailing on the phone? <laughs> what a game. Much love from Australia. <laughs> hey, thanks, Sam Bliss Twenty Two. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Forty six seconds burn for this one so we're gonna go at 23 at 23 seconds we'll just fast forward time a little bit to that point we get into a good orbit all right ready good fuel's looking good Fuck, I love space. Fuck, this game is great. I love, uh, I, I like that this game is like my new obsession now. I love it. It's great. Sipsy boy, just wanted to say thanks. I had a pretty rough week last week and it was really nice to have something to watch and escape for a bit smile. Oh man. Much love, man. Thanks, a proxy. I hope you're feeling better. Thanks so much for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. We're about ready to to cut this. All right. We got a nice a nice orbit of Kerbin here. So that's good. Man, it feels kind of bad ditching the rocket when we when we got this much fuel. I'm almost tempted to revert and just like take all this crap off cuz I don't think we need it at all. I think we can just do it all with this. But then it's going to be, like, too small, right? Maybe we could just ditch the other two fuel... The, the other excess fuel tanks? Ah, fuck it. Let's just do it. Who cares? We're here. We're here, so let's just do it. Okay, so we have to... We have to line this up now. We're going to do the burn from here. Actually, I think we're going to have to do it in two, right? Because we have to actually get here first. We have to get here first. And then we have to um, correct from there, right? So, so if we burn from here and then correct it that way, that'll be the way to do it. Okay, let's go for that then. It's true, I'm a huge nerd. Okay. All right, we're close. We're almost at the at the thing now. So it's a 13 second burn. Oh my god, you really notice not actually having a human pilot. Though it takes forever to turn this bad boy around. Hey mate. Hey, mate. Guess what? what? I'm not drunk now. How was your weekend? <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. That's good. I got this you... game yesterday. It is better than I thought. Oh, Actually, it's, it's great. It I'm is. bloody terrible at it, though. Good to see you, mate. Hey, you too, mate. Thanks so much, Madogum. Love you, man. Thanks so much. All right, we're doing our maneuver. Out to where we need to go, and then we'll adjust at the AP, right? If you wanted to turn add reaction wheels, oh, is that what those are for? It's fine when the actual um, ignition is on. It's fine, but
perfect. Perfect. Okie doke. So from here now, we're going to add a maneuver. And we're going to expand this out to match up with this. And then move it over a little. And expand it again. Not too much. Okay, and then we have to just adjust it like this. I think that was too much adjusting. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we want to get it like over here and then we'll have to do another maneuver over here to adjust it back this way as well. It'll take a, a couple of maneuvers. I think that's the way to do it though. Because where we're trying to do it right now, it's like right on the thing. Like we can't adjust it from there. Oh my god, what have I done? I've moved it too far out. That's better. Whoops. Okay, we're close. No. No, not like that. No. Oh, God, this is so annoying. Okay. Better. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So we want this two point seven. We want these these to match up, basically. Hey Sips Baby, Lewis hey, baby. here. Quick question, but do you think space missions can get you a girlfriend? I Not think. asking for me, just asking for a friend. Anyway, I top think, notch stream. I think if you Please really, respond via email. I think if quickly. you really believe, Thanks. then yeah, I think you can fuck me. Good morning Space Sips. Hey. Greetings from the Earth. Here's a space themed stinker for you. Where do astronauts swim in space? The galaxy. The Have gala a good space stream, I, Dad. I get it. Wow, spa uh, 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 Archie. The galaxy. I get it. I got it. I get that. The galaxy. Of course. Oh, fuck me, this. I like. I I roughly know what I'm trying to do, but at the same time, I don't know. We did this yesterday, or on Saturday, didn't we? We did the satellite yesterday. Saturday. Saturday. It was on Saturday. Is it too far away now? Okay, we're getting there now. It's like kind of in the right in the right area now. It's 
kind it's almost in the right area. I mean that's almost there. Is that it's kind of far away actually but we might be all right oh, that makes it smaller I don't want that that's making it small too fuck Oh, come on. I went around the wrong way, I think. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're, we're kind of close with this, actually. It's just taking a little bit of fucking around. You astro babby. Adjust tilt first using the purple controls. Oh, then God, adjust I'm so the annoyed. orbit size. I'm Love, so annoyed. Mom. Tilt first and then do the orbit size. Okay, let me try that. Okay, so from here, we're gonna tilt first. And then adjust the orbit size. Oh yeah. That is a little bit better, isn't it? Still a little bit all over the place, but it you're right, it is a little bit easier doing it like that. It's nuts. That's annoying. I want it like at this tilt, but I want it to come up a bit. Not sure how to best do that. God, some of these controls are very sensitive too, aren't they? Just like my my weenus. Just like my wangus. Maybe I'm trying to do this from the wrong place. I thought this is how you did it though. I'm sure I've done it like this before though. I guess I want to try to get to the the P of of this. Oh, I'm kind of close now. That's really close. like super far away now. So 
it has to be more like that. And then it has to tilt up a little bit as well, because the tilt is wrong. Well, it's not going to be exact though, is it? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm, just, I'm trying to get it exact when it doesn't need to be. Like, that's fine. My name is Brownie Shitles and I like to eat Vaseline on biscuits. Okay, I'm going with this one, guys. And then I'm going to tilt from over here. I'm going to tilt from the, the AP. And then just tilt it into place like that. Okay. Your name is what? And you like what, Downsy? Brownie Shitles. And you like to eat Vaseline on biscuits. Who doesn't, though? This is the this is the question. Who who doesn't? Okay, let's try like this, okay? We'll see if this works. We have to do a maneuver out here. Five second burn. It's gonna take... It's going to take 4 minutes and 30 seconds because I don't have the reaction wheels on this. So the turn is just taking forever. So I need reaction wheels if I'm going to use an unmanned thing. Is that right? Stop. Stop. Please back. 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 But you don't fuck it. Fuck it, we'll do it with this instead. We brought this up here for this very reason, didn't we? Where's it going? Bye! <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. The fuck it strategy. I'm all about the fuck it strategy. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna burn in a sec. We got more than enough fuel to do this. To safely deliver our payload. Oh God! What? Stop! I pressed the. Sake. I hate when that happens. I pressed that stupid camera button that's right next to Zed. Okay, we're gonna have to adjust a little bit. It might not be perfect now, though. We'll adjust a little tiny bit. Perfect. No, it's, it is perfect. The adjustment worked. Okay, good. So. We're going to do our next thing from here. I think we're still going to be off a little bit. You know what? I think that's going to be fine. I think that's fine. I think that's absolutely fine. I think I think we'll get away with it. Cuz you're allowed to deviate a little tiny bit, right? Well, we'll see anyway. So, let's get to here. 
close enough. Yeah, that's close enough, I think. No probe control. Oh shit. Is it because the antenna's in here? I'm too far away now. I don't I've lost control of the probe. <laughs> oh, oh no. Is it because of the antenna? Deploy the cone. I can't deploy the cone. It's it's it, wait, can I click on it? No, I can't. No power. Oh, fuck. Of course, all the solar panels are here too, right? Yeah, we're out of power. We ran out of power. Fuck, that's... Okay. Okay. Back to vehicle assembly. All right. Okay, so it turns out, right? I don't think we need these things to get where we're going. We have more than enough fuel, right? Okay, and then we had all these solar panels in Hi, here. Hi, Sips. Nice to see you play KSP. You should try to build a space station. I yeah. would love to see chat trying to explain to you how to dock. Dock. Yeah. I think maybe we could do it with a battery pack. Two batteries? I think two batteries will be fine, right? They shouldn't burn up and, and get destroyed on the way up either, I wouldn't have thought. <clears throat> okay, we'll try it with batteries. And what was it, a reaction wheel? The small inline reaction wheel. I thought that was for stability more so than anything else. I mean, I could try it. I don't know where I'm going to put this thing. Actually, fuck it. We'll just try it like this. Be fine. Okay, so we want to make sure that this all goes in the first. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And then open. Perfect. All right. It's Mark II now. We've made some changes. Yeah. Is this game actually fun? No, it's not actually. It's terrible. Okay, we should be good. We're gonna launch like this. We're launching. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I hope you're ready. When I look at chat, do I usually look at the top, middle, or bottom of chat? It just depends, really. I don't know what... I. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm actually looking at at any given point. Okay, you ready? I hope we have enough fuel for this. It felt like we had an excess of fuel last time, so... We're gonna keep it light. We're keeping it nice and light this time. We cut down on, on the required components for our satellite deployment. This is how we're going to make all of our money. So we've got to make, we got to keep this trim and tight. It's got to be like clockwork, baby. It looks, it looks the part though, doesn't it? It looks great. It's a, it's a, it's a fine, a fine rocket. separation I can't believe that we ran out of electricity the worst possible moment as well just the worst 
Okay, we'll go up to 80. Perfect. Let's put in our maneuver. Get into orbit. That'll do pig. <clears throat> Okay, let's rotate this bad boy around. Electric charge, we're good. We got lots of electricity now because these batteries. We're never gonna get a lot of this stuff back though. So maybe it's a little bit of a waste of money. Okay, it's a 20 second burn. God. Spin, you bastard. Come on. Come back down. Maybe you're right about the reaction wheels. Fuck's sake. As soon as we get into orbit, we'll ditch this thing. Okay, 10 seconds then, and then we'll punch it. Yeah, 10 seconds. Deploy now. No way. No way, Jose. I will not. Okay, perfect. doing our our burn for orbit Fuel's good. We have a lot. Of, we have a lot of fuel. Perfect. Oh. Okay. We're in a bit of a weird orbit, but it's fine. Perfect. Okay. Good. Do we ditch this now? Or do we hang on to it? Maybe we hang on to it. There is a little bit of fuel left in it, right? We'll do we'll do this maneuver at least and then it should be good. Actually we want this to go like I want to go to like the AN or the DN. Maybe it's the AN to get us like that's the easiest way to get us like on a level. And then we just adjust that way. Because that, like, connects perfectly, pretty much, doesn't it? Okay. 
Sure. Okay, let's we'll try that anyway. I'm not sure. I just don't know. It's in 33 minutes, so. Sips, deploy yeah. cone fairings now to reveal solar panels. Also, only adjust tilt at ascending or descending node. Ascending or descending node. Ascending node. Okay, I'm heading to the ascending node right now. So wait a minute, Doc. You're saying to me... Cone or the batteries will die. The batteries are not going to die. They're fine. They've we got a lot of a lot of electricity in the batteries right now. It's fine. And anyway, I don't know how to do the cone. I don't think we can deploy it. Oh, you can. <laughs> okay, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, our electric charge should be amazing now. Yeah, we're recharging. Perfect. Okay. Good. I couldn't do it last time because we didn't have a electric charge, right? That's why I couldn't deploy last time. That's hilarious. So this is a 15 second burn. That's fine. I guess we only need, we only had that thing on there to protect it from the actual um, takeoff, right? That's why. That's not bad. Okay. Good. Okay, let's separate from this now. Now that we've done the maneuver. Okay, so now from here we can maneuver and we can do the... Um, the tilt, right? God, that's so much easier, guys. Holy crap. Oh, that's a dreamy one. Oh. I think that'll just about do it. Oh, you guys are the best. That, that's great. Holy crap, that's exactly what we needed. So AN or, or D... So the ascending node or the descending node is where you want to do your... I gotcha. I gotcha. I've learned something today. Thanks, friends. Thanks so much. Thanks. Okay. What's this burn? It's an 11 second burn. We got like tons of fuel for this too. Perfect. Yeah. I learned. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it'll be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. A 12 second burn. T minus one minute to burn. Yeah, no, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a burn. 
We're gonna get ourselves into into position and then bam another satellite is gonna be Under our belt. That's right. We'll burn at six T minus six. I Should play the music now you should play if you believe they put one man on the moon. Man on the moon. If you believe, there's nothing out there to see. The duty to do. Wow, wow, That is a fucking beauty. We got it, boys. Just gotta maintain some stability now, and then Kerblamo. She's up. We've done it. Deploy the antenna. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, this has got batteries for days. It's got the battery on top and the two batteries on the side, too, so it's never gonna run out of power. Okay, let's just make sure that this bad boy is like pointing upwards so that the sun can hit all the plates no matter where it is oh crap hang on a sec I'll point this bad boy upwards this will be our last job just to point this bad boy upwards okay I don't think there's any point in stealing any of their science either because I'm sure we have all this yeah we do beep 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 that's pretty nice, isn't it? There, there's another satellite out here now. With the unmanned Riceroni Mark III, and now we've got the Riceroni Satellite Mark II out here as well. Incredible. I can't believe we didn't get this. Swivel liquid fuel engine in flight over Kerbin. 41,000 to 44,000 meters at, uh, at, a, at a pretty high speed. Uh, we're probably, ac actually, come to think of it, we're probably going way over that speed, aren't we? We could do this easy, right? We could do this really easy. Okay, let's go back to the space center now that that's done. You probably have to right click on test like on the platform. I don't think you have to. No, I think it's we're we're at that point we're going too fast. We're just going too fast, I think. But we could use this exact same thing. We just have to build another, uh, I think we, if we built another satellite, we can test it on the way up, all right? Uh -huh. Build a new surface outpost. What? While cleaning up after an unintended ignition, one of the overworked teams at Rokia Inc. raised an interesting question. We'd like to run some experiments on the feasibility of long-term Kerbal habitation outside of Kerbin as part of the moon-based beta project. This is why we're here. Build a new outpost for this agency that can support five Kerbals on the surface of the moon. Fuck. Please note that this must be a new outpost built for Rokia Inc. after the contract is accepted. Build a new outpost that has an antenna, has a docking port, and can generate power. Have a facility supporting at least five Kerbals. Maintain stability for 10 seconds and land your outpost on the moon. Can we do this? I don't even know where to begin with this. How the hell are we going to take the, the things up there that we need? Wait, guys, I want to do it, but I don't know how to do it. It's going to be tough. What the hell do I do? Probably not. Piece by piece. What, do we even have any parts that form a base? We need heavy rocketry. That's what we need heavy rockets for, to, to carry up heavier payloads, right? Orbital assembly. Build it piece by piece in orbit. It's gonna be hard to do with the parts that we have now. Oh, right, we need some more science and stuff. So fuck, you can actually build moon bases? I thought you guys said that you needed mods to do that. Oh man, now I'm super excited. 
Space station's one thing. A moon base is another thing. Fuck. I need more research. Okay. I don't have the pieces. If you don't have the pieces, it might give you them. All right. We have to go to Minmus for science. Well, I, I want to go to Minmus, but I want to get a thing. Um, I want to get, like, a contract to do it. I don't want to just go for the sake of it, you know? We have to park two vessels next to each other around the moon. How do you do that? Is that hard to do? Any part of a spaceship that lands or crashes on the moon is a moon base. Decline a contract. I don't need to decline one though. The, this other one that we have is super easy to do. So how do contracts work then? If you complete a contract, does it unlock like different contracts or is it just random? It's tedious the first time, you got, have to make a plane. Hmm. What is that? What is park? Does parking mean that we need to dock with something in orbit? Is that is that what what it means by by parking? Explore the moon and you'll get a contract from Minmus. We have done. We landed on the moon. We collected surface and everything, and we came back. But we still haven't gotten anything from Minmus. What do you mean this one? Explore. But this one is to park two vessels next to each other. We surely we don't need to do that in order to get contracts from Minmus, right? Decline a contract to unlock a contract. But we don't need to decline one though, do we? Rescue friend for do we want to try to rescue enemy from orbit? Is this hard to do as well? How the like how like I'm I'm thinking how the hell am I gonna actually like get him? If he's already in orbit, I have to like insert myself close to where he is. The contract only wants you to rendezvous, so you don't need to dock, just have him close. Contracts randomly generate daily. All right. And you get a bad rep if you decline. All right, well we have this active one. Is there any... Uh, I mean, we could just, we could do this other satellite mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. We might as well just do this other satellite one. This one is for, um, orbiting Kerbin again. Okay, cool. Okay, we'll do this one and then we can, um, we'll do the, uh, the swivel test on the way up as well. Do a swivel test on the way up. So hang on a second. This one needs a... Unmanned probe that has an antenna can generate power. Re reach the desert, maintain stability. So we don't need any of this stuff on here. This doesn't need to be on here. It's just a probe, right? And that doesn't need to be on there either. And actually, we don't need these batteries either because if we just, once we're in orbit, we just blow this and then we'll have all of the charge that we need, right? So we can do the swivel test on the way up as well, right? Okay, let's try it. Build a new unmanned probe that has an antenna and can generate power. Perfect. Okay, this should be a pretty easy one. This one should be pretty easy. It's much like the other one. It's just, a, it's a lot further out, but that's fine too. Okay, so what we wanna do for this is we need to make sure that our speed is lower um, going into the 41,000 uh, to 44,000 meter range. Should be fine, right? We just don't want to be going too fast. So at, at some point, we're going to want to like go to half throttle on this. Like now. Go 
but we're already going like way too fast. <laughs> oh my lord. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh fuck's sake, guys. How are we gonna get this speed at this altitude? That's crazy. This thing just wants to go like at this. Okay, hang on a second. Let's revert this flight. We'll just go straight up this time. We'll just go straight up. And we'll angle off. We'll okay. Forty-four thousand. This is a crazy one, isn't it? Oh my god, I don't know if we can actually do this. That's that speed at that altitude is gonna be nuts, right? That speed range. Approaching 340 now. We're at 340. Okay, we're still climbing though. Need to slow down a little bit more. We can't go over 410. And then as soon as this test is done, we're gonna um we're just gonna go full blast and still try to pull this off in a in a big double whammer, right? Uh, this might work. Ten K. Oh fuck. We're gonna watch our speed. We done it. We did it. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be tough, but we might do it. Okay. Done. This is gonna be a big maneuver up here. I hope we have enough fuel for it. We're probably fine, though, I think. Elon Musk is actually an anagram of Sips. You're right about that. You're right. He styled himself right after me. Who could blame him as well, right? I mean, look at me. I think he's a little bit older than I am. But, come on, let's face it. Okay. I probably still look, like, decades younger than him, right? At least. I would say. I think this is going to be a pretty rough one. We might run out of fuel trying to do this. Oh no, we're fine. We got plenty of fuel. What the hell? Okay. Let's add this maneuver in so that we can get into orbit and then we can adjust. It's not the best orbit, but it should be fine. Okay, and let's deploy that bad boy as well so that we have the power. It's a 15 second burn. That can't be right. That can't be right. We'll trust it though.
so it adjusted to like a 40 second burn. I think I know when to deploy the cone now. Yeah. It took me a while to get to the point where I know how to, when and how to deploy the cone, but I'm just about to do it now. All right. So I think, I don't think that there's much need for this bit anymore, but we could maybe use some of the fuel to do the next maneuver to over to the ascending node. Looks like we're going to do it from the, to go to the ascending node again. So we're going to go from the periaxis, add our maneuver in, Use some of this fuel and then ditch it and then use the uh, the smaller one, right? That's pretty good, eh? It's pretty close. Okay, good. Okay, so let's warp all the way around to here then, and then do this maneuver. We'll deploy this stupid satellite up here as well. And that'll be two contracts done. I'm doing it without chat? Well, come on, chat's still helping a little bit. Chat helped me before. Ascending nodes though. That's the big takeaway for today. Lining up with an ascending or descending node and then adjusting like that. It's fucking so much easier. Holy crap, it's nuts. Okay, so this is a 23 second burn. So we'll do it at like 12 seconds. I don't know how we're going to make a moon base. So so you guys say we assemble it in orbit at Kerbin. So it's going to be much like making a space station, but we're going to assemble the base. And then how the hell are we going to take the base over there, though? We're going to have to do lots of, like, docking and stuff, right? No? 